Hi everyone, it's Helen from Heritage Organic Seeds and recently I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about whether or not it is possible to grow vegetables in a pot. Lots of people do not have a large garden or allotment to be able to grow their own vegetables but most people do have at least one small area, even if it's just a balcony space, to be able to fit one pot to grow something edible and amazing. With the recent cost of living increases, we are all feeling the pinch. Lots of people who were buying organic vegetables in the supermarkets previously are now having to switch to non-organic, just conventional vegetables, purely because of the price. We've also seen in the news this week that how hard it is to get hold of tomatoes and lettuces because we're relying so much on imports from other, from other countries. Personally, I'm not concerned that we can't get tomatoes in February because they're not a seasonal vegetable for us to eat in February. However, I think the... I think it does highlight how fragile the food system is here in the UK when we rely so heavily on imports from other countries. So what I thought would be great fun this year would be to launch the One Pot Challenge. So I am going to challenge you to grow as much as you can in just one pot. Hopefully you'll all join me and be organic. From your compost to your seeds and just try and incorporate even just one item of organic produce into your diet this year. If you can't do organic, please don't worry, please follow along anyway. I'm going to teach you all of the benefits of growing organic and share some fun facts with you to help you make an informed decision for other years. And maybe, you know, as, as times change, you will gradually start to switch to organic. You don't have to do everything overnight. So what we need to do, we need a pot. This is the one that I'm going to use. This is just one that was in the garden. It's probably from B&M, a couple of quid about 45 centimetres in diameter. That is quite big, as you can see. Then we're going to get some compost. This is my favourite compost at the moment. This is Silver Grove Organic Compost. The best thing about this is it was the same price in the garden centre as the non-organic compost, so it was absolute no-brainer. And then we need some seeds. We sell organic seeds on our website. We are certified with the Soil Association. Um, wherever you choose to buy your seeds from, all grow along together. I will put some articles on the website. I will also put some a whole section of seeds that I think will be perfect to grow in one pot um, for any new gardeners who have never done this before and just don't even know where to start. So I'm going to give you all a couple of weeks. Get your pots, get your compost, get some seeds, and then we're going to have the one pot challenge this year. We're going to get creative. We're going to share what we're doing, what we're growing, why we're growing it. And we're going to show everybody just how easy it is to grow your own at home. So are you in for the challenge?